All right, Amar. My first thing, I'm gonna rewind to this summer. Let's talk to summer. Canadian Olympic trials. You don't get on the team, and you're a world finalist for Canada, right? So, how much did that affect you in the month of December, not getting on the team? Uh, your Midlands was just, well, you weren't yourself at Midlands. How much did that affect you in December? Uh, I try not to think about it, but it's the worst thing that's ever happened to me in my life. And it was just a low point in my life. What did they do to, to get you back on track? What did the coaching staff at Oregon State do to get you back on track? Uh, get back on the mat. We just get back on the schedule. Classes, school, wrestling. I was trying to stay away from it, but coaches know I was right, and I got back into it. Looking at you, you know, you're from BC. Um, you guys used to come down to Oregon State for camp. I believe that's how they recruited you. And not to mention you're a world finalist, you know, you're, you're pretty good. But um, how hard has this whole adjustment been? You're, you're born and raised a freestyle guy. Uh, dad was a world team member, I believe, for India. Yeah, he's in the wrestler. Yeah, so, so, so your dad represented India, you represented Canada. Um, what has this whole transition been like for this style where you're holding someone down for a point where, like, your whole life it's, you would never stand up that silly, a guy will yeah. soup you, right? Yeah. What's that been like? Uh, it was a big transition. When I was little, I used to go across the board to Washington and wrestle for these collegiate tournaments and stuff as a kid, but they're obviously not collegiate mm -hmm. level. and. Uh, Getting here my first year was tough. It was a big experience trying to get up off the ground instead of just laying there belly flat. <laughs> but uh, I'm adjusting well. I'm still learning, so. Were you born in Canada or India? Canada. So when did your parents come over from India? Uh, my dad came in 1974. 1974, and then when he, was he training in Canada when he represented India? Uh, no, but he was still training for us and stuff in Canada, up at SFU. A question. Talk about your goals and freestyle. I mean, obviously you've been junior world champ, right? And uh, uh, have an opportunity ahead of you if, if it's something you want to do. And is that is that a plan for you? Yeah, that was always the goal. The goal was 2016 Olympics, but that's over and done with. So next is obviously world championships, university world championships. We have that this year, so that's the next goal here. 2020 is 2020. The is that the new reset? Hit reset? New goal? It is hard to say, but it is. Now it is, yeah. Your weight class is very loaded here. You have five junior world medalists in the weight class. Yeah. You know, just talk about the challenge. Of, I mean, everyone's looking at the weight because of the two guys in the finals, but uh, it, it was a real difficult field for anybody here. Talk, talk about what it took to no, have you get part, to this. Have you was probably the most stacked weight class that I've seen right now. You have, how you're saying, the five world medalists. It's amazing, especially with Snyder back in it. And, it was good. He was a great wrestler, so. Training is so much different. There's there's so much more pounding and so much more weightlifting and all this other stuff that you guys probably just don't do in BC and Canada. How much different is that? You know, I asked you about the style adjustment, you know, from point scoring, laying on your belly to not getting turned to standing up now. But how much has that affected your body? You've had some injuries. The training's totally different. What's that like for you? The biggest thing was probably be the schedule we have. In freestyle, it's more like you compete every month two months maybe, and we get prepared, like, you know, we taper off and all that, but with collegiate, there's nothing of like that. It's, what, five months, four months? So intense. Very intense, many tournaments every week, so that's the biggest, biggest change. Two more years left at Oregon State? Yeah, I believe so. Two more, you believe so? I think so. Yeah, two more years left at Oregon State, yeah. okay. Uh, will you go back to Canada? Is India an option? What What do you do moving forward? Do you stay in Oregon? Do you become, a, what do you do? I'm, I'm not quite sure yet. We're just going you know, month to month right now after Olympics, so we're going to set out a schedule when I get back home with the Canadian coaches and we'll go from there. Does anyone ask you any questions like this ever? Uh, no, not many. Sometimes. <laughs> they always ask me how collegiate is and freestyle is, how the difference is. Wrestling's wrestling, but collegiate's still a bit different. What do you miss about BC? The home-cooked meals. <laughs> hey, congratulations. Thanks for the time. Thank you.